And we are underway in Buffalo. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Allen going to go to the air right away. And his first pass is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Second and 10. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing his Allen on third. That pass is caught by Hardy. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. So here come the Patriots, led by Bailey Zappi at quarterback in his second season now out of Western Kentucky. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school, ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard, knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Zappi's throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up 14. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramon Ray Stevenson. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Now a second and 10. Zappi. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Here's second and 10. Now Zappi. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. 
And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Zappi on third down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Zappi back to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. High throw, but he makes the catch. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Oh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. Here's Stevenson. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the 40-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. And Zappi to throw. Parker's got it. Touchdown, New England. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Pats post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. But down here, I thought they were going to hand that off. Instead, a well-designed play and the pitch and catch for the touchdown. And I wonder who came up with it. Was it a call from the bench? Did the quarterback have a good idea and suggest it? In any event, clearly an effective play call. They saw something they liked in coverage, and they targeted it for the short yardage throw. And the perfect way to cap their opening drive. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Escapes the sack. Fights through and now a crease. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never down for a second. They pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center, because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Throwing now is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down at six now from the 42. Now Cook running right. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He's going to have the first down and then so. And all the way down to the 33-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Jawan Bentley, the one to get in and finish off the play. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. And he gets it down to the 32. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. 
Allen. Over the middle complete. It's Cook. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Mills passing game getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Allen. This is caught. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Looking to throw, Zappi. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Puna Ford, the one to get to him and drop him. What a quick start to the drive, but not for the team that really needed it. In only a few seconds, the opposing QB found himself on the turf, and the defense is celebrating second and long. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Zappi. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. This time they stay on the ground. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to. All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, 
curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And Oliver. What an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but closed there quickly at the end. Third and 12. Now Zappi. Throw left side complete. That's Stevenson. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Stevenson. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's a second and five. Zappi looks to throw it. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. They'll set up to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Off the fake, Zappi. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Patriots. Devontae Parker with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots have taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead.
Riley now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the 29, here's second and three. To the air, Allen. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for eight yards. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. They run the counter with Cook. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He finds Hardy on the slant. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Allen's throw is complete. Seven yards there and a first down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Start backs him up five, first and 15. Cook following the penalty. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Thirty-eight yard line, second and eleven. Now Allen. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
to give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Here's Allen to throw it. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. fourth down now Allen gotta have this one work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete that's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side like the design that we're seeing right there this is what they need down by a touchdown here in the fourth they just need to keep working their way downfield and when they see openings take their shots Operating from the red zone now. Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Ten more there and another first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there. And for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. To throw, it's Allen. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Cook up the gut. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. one setting up for a great finish all tied in the fourth as the kicks away here's Rager he's going to bring this one out and he returns this to the 22 New England's offense set to go they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown all tied up in the fourth quarter and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Zappi off play action. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. 
Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it, because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. A beautiful fake. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Try the middle with Cook. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. It's Cook, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. They run it again with Cook. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Allen now looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing Allen. A give. This is Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it. You could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now Allen, a 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. 
Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. This is first and ten. Here's Allen. Handoff comes to Cook. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Now first and goal. Allen. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. From the two now, second and goal. To throw is Allen. Cook is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here is Zappi and the Patriots. Down 21-14. A little over 20 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Zappi. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Now 
They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now Zappi. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. And that is incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Zappy, one final shot here. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it took a bit.